is Ellen Ann, and I'm here today with comedian Andrew Kennedy. That's right, and you're watching Center Stage Magazine. So, I want to welcome you to Scottsdale, Arizona in July. I feel very welcome. It is warm, but it's dry. So, I just got in from Connecticut where it's hot and humid. So that's not a good, ridiculous thing. Just standing outside, you break a sweat, and it's not fun. It's not fun. So at least this is more like an oven. <laughs> yes, so ovens least, are yeah, more fun. Ovens are more <laughs> Let's edit that part out. That's got all sorts of connotations. Next day on the oven, eh? Talking all right, to let's the go. Jewish woman you I know. Have. Why do you think it dawned on me? Not to talk like this. No. It's so, all good. It's all good. Yeah, so we, we met a, a few months ago. We met a few months ago on the NCL Jewel. The Jewel, yes. And, um, yeah, and Erickel, of course. Thank you very much. And so were you as a passenger. And, uh, and we had a great time and we wanted to do this interview. Let's not say exactly how many months, just a couple sounds good. A couple sounds but good. Okay. It's for Center Stage Magazine, so it's important. Right, and we don't want to be procrastinating or anything. All right, let's yeah. get down okay. so, so, you perform on cruise ships, <laughs> as well as comedy clubs like this. Comedy clubs, <laughs> for events, <laughs> yeah. colleges, but not as much as I used to. Okay. As I've gotten older, there's not as much for me to talk about with other kids as now. And so, most of it is corporates, cruise ships, and the third one is comedy clubs, which seem to be my favorite. Tonight was a good example. A Thursday, not overly packed, but it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah. And that was one of my questions, too, is, is the interaction with the audience and, um, as opposed to a comedy club or a private event? Very easy. Cruise ship, you're still auditioning while you're performing. So you know that somebody higher up is looking and if it doesn't go the way they wanted it to go, there can be ramifications. Corporate events, to a lesser extent. And that's why I love comedy clubs, because comedy clubs I'm the freest I can possibly be. And you saw me on a ship. You noticed tonight I was even in a different sense, different level of comfort. Yes, I did notice. <coughs> it was a little bit of a different show. Yeah. And it always is with me. It's very organic. Depending on the audience and how they're feeling me and I'm feeling them, we'll go on different journeys or tangents. I like that. So you do, you kind of um, feed off of the reactions that you get. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. So, <coughs> coughing attack on set. Yes. <laughs> Edit. It's okay. So, you have your new DVD out. It's a CD, actually. Oh, this one's a CD. This is a CD. Okay. Available on iTunes or Google Play called Andrew Kennedy Almost Black. I know the title is a little weird looking at me, but it all gets explained in the CD. Comedy Club okay. uh, in San Antonio, Texas, and it was great. It was a great experience, and it's doing really well. But it just launched, so the more people share it, the hard copies are not out yet, or you would have had one, and so would you. Oh, yes, because camera people count. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an idiot, Andrew. No, so, yeah, the hard copies are, are, are due out within the next week and a half. So, it's mostly available as a download, which is where technology seems to go now. Everybody's downloading things. In fact, I actually was selling a DVD that, I, that I'm known to do. I think you might have one of the DVDs. And it was like a 17-year-old uh, girl that said, DVD? <laughs> Who watches DVDs? And she looked at me like I was an old man. She's like, and I'm like, what? Yeah. what? Who watches DVDs? I still do. Don't they have Redbox? <laughs> I still have my tapes, so, you know. But that's where it's headed. When you yeah. listen to 17, 18-year-old kids, 
if they're reacting like that, that's DVDs are on their way out. If you look at the big uh, Staples and Best Buy and all the office supply stores, the DVD sections are getting smaller and smaller. So yeah. I don't even have a smartphone, so I'm like way behind the times. I hope you figure, you figure it out and get it. You'll love it. As soon as, I, as, soon as my contract is up. All of the information you know? known to humanity on this device that we hold in our palm and we use it to send pictures of cats to people and get into fights. <laughs> in politics, political fights, yes. Political fights, yes. Yeah. Okay, so typical question to ask you is when did you realize that this is what you had to do? I guess as soon as I calmed down enough to control my my awkward humor, because I had a hyperactive thyroid when I was younger, all through high school, and so I was funny, but I was annoying, and I didn't know when, when I crossed that line, I didn't stop, much like two of my sons, and I can't blame them that much because they, it's a genetic thing that gets handed down. And then I calmed down and I tried an open mic night at a comedy club in Norwalk, Connecticut. It was the scariest thing I'd ever done. A good friend of mine, whose younger brother was in the audience tonight, uh, came and saw it. And people did laugh. People didn't laugh. It was up and down. I got off stage and I said, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. I don't ever want to do that again. Then I had a shot. thought about it a little bit more and I said, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's it. And so over the course of years and getting up on stage, uh, I got better and better at it. And the next thing you know, I, I'm doing this as a living. And I pinch myself every day knowing that this is how I earn my living. I don't have to do drugs. I just get up on stage. It is. It has got to be like heroin. It's, it's a high like that. It's, I, I don't know what that high is. I know highs. I don't know that high, but from what I hear people talk about, it, that's how it feels. It feels great. That's phenomenal to be able to do it. Exactly yes, do. it is. And do it, and you make a lot of people happy. And, you know, you make us laugh, which is, is huge. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we all need a good laugh. Don't now we? Don't we? We all do. We do. So are you a people watcher? Do you get some of your ideas from just sitting back and watching what's going on around? Well, I, uh, I'm a my own life watcher, so I react to what's happening around in my life and things that interact with me. But I do people watch. Uh, but most of the comedy has been autobiographical to what's happening, whether it's my background, kids, marriage, divorce, whatever it is. And uh, but I am a people watcher because I get that from my mother. She sits in a corner. Of, if she'll get in a room, she'll sit in the corner, farthest from everybody, looking out, and she will tell me everything about this person and that. Oh, that that's not his girl. That's not. His his wife. He having too good a time. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, and that one is very depressed, you know, so she'll talk about it. And yeah. Because we as comics observe each other as people. And as comedians, what we do is really hold up a mirror to the audience. And the mirror is held in front of the audience members and they can either choose to look at it and understand that there's a connection. I, oh yes, I see my life mirrored in that. Or they look away because they might be offended or they don't want to deal with it. And that that's where the nuances come in where you can get people uncomfortable when you choose subject matter that's a little bit too intimate for their taste. But the truth is, we are all the same. And though my stories are different, they're the same. We all know people like that if it's not ourselves. So I like that. There we go, you're right, good way to bring that, tying it up again. Kids tonight, a little bit. You um, said that Aiden and Dan both kind of have your sense of humor and different senses of humor. Aiden is more like me because he's. He's got voices and characters that he does. And so that's that's more what I do. Ian is just really smart, sarcastic, and he's got and he's got the funny gene, but it's more sarcastic, biting type of humor. So he can alienate people or make them die laughing. 
I'll just hope he survives high school because he's got a mouth. He will just not keep any inner thoughts. Really? Yeah. Kiki, yes. A little musically singing, and because I posted on Facebook, obviously, I'm a, dad, I'm a proud father of all the kids, but she is the most theatrical of all the kids. She's got a beautiful voice, but yes, she's a ham. So she is, she gets that hamishness from both. I'm going to give my soon-to-be ex-wife credit for that, because she is funny, too. So yeah, so she's in, so she's a nice combination. Isn't it? Yes, we're moving forward. We're good friends, for the sake of the children. It's so good to be good friends. Isn't it? It is. Until you're not anymore. Don't, don't let me look that far ahead. No, 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 you've got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I have a thought about letting Kiki open one of your shows for you with some of her song and dance numbers? You know what? If I thought it were appropriate for a comedy club, I would, but they're beautiful songs and she's really good and it would be it wouldn't make sense to have her open and then me talk about some of the subject matter matter that I cover. Sure. You know. Which is her walking in on my wife and I when we were then still Happily married. Exactly. Exactly. She That's why you're making me so crazy. Wouldn't that be funny? She opens up for me, and then I explain why we were making those noises. So you weren't having nightmares together? Yeah. Oh, nice dad. Nice dad. Great. Yeah, she's nine. So yeah. Yeah. She's just you know amazing. She is. She is amazing. Thanks for noticing. I totally enjoy when you post. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. She also has. Her own, uh, YouTube channel. Right? She does. <laughs> Which I kind of didn't know about it, but they're cute, but I'm monitoring the hell out of that. Oh, you have to. You have to. You'd not be a good dad if you didn't. Okay, so just make sure, because I want to put everything up, all your links, on yeah. your social media, yeah. so that people can reach out to you. Sure. So, uh, and find you and book you and do all those fun yeah. things. I'm kind of behind the times with social media. I have the, the things that I do, the Facebook, uh, my website. I just had somebody, a friend of mine, go, Dude, you better update your website. And he showed me a clip of my upcoming schedule, and it was blank. I hadn't updated it in like six months. So it shows that I'm not doing anything, but I'm doing a ton of stuff. I just haven't put it down. So I've got to be more on top of that. So do these look like they are correct? Yes. Twitter, at the Kennedy Live, website andrewkennedylive.com. Yep. Facebook.com is Andrew Kennedy Page, is yep. the, the fan page. The fan page, yes. And I wouldn't fans. put up your page. Yes, page. that's all right. Okay. That's okay. That's for you to pass around. Sure. You know, I have a little common sense. Um, Not much, but a little. <laughs> yeah, just, you know. No, you're a great writer, too. I read uh, I read the, the article that you had uh, shared. Yeah. And it was very good, yeah. I appreciate that. So, Thank yes. you. Yes. Very proud of her. Thank you for not giving up on the interview, and uh, because it was no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, and it's it's important because I'm clueless as to the social media part of it, which is hugely important. Which is why when I go to a comedy club. I'm not the draw that I think I should be because people don't know about me. So well, we have to get you yeah, out. Whether there. and that's the key. Yeah. So you know, you keep hearing from uh, from club owners, oh, you're funnier than most of the guys that we bring, but nobody knows who you are. So <laughs> that's why you're not getting booked in all the clubs. So yeah, they want draws. They want